What's going on YouTube? Geosnoid here. So in today's video we're talking about some important things related to iOS 14 jailbreak and some cool things like the fact that Linux was achieved on an iPhone. So today's video is sponsored by PhoneTrans, a program that allows you to quickly transfer your older device into a new one to clone everything you have from an old device to another. Check it out in the link below. So I'm going to start with something very important because it may not stay here for so long. The app valley is currently signed. If you want to get your jailbreaks or your plus plus applications you should go ahead right now because they said quote app valley is signed the certificate was free so we're not sure how long it will last hurry while you can and you can get app valley from app-valley.vip so if you want to get uncover or odyssey or any other jailbreak or plus plus application do it while you can otherwise once it gets unsigned it's no longer possible aside from that unfortunately i have to confirm the fact that the uncover team substitute 2.0.0 is indeed pretty buggy and you should definitely avoid Avoid it. For those of you who are not aware, the Uncover team posted that they're going to release the Substitute 2.0.0, which supports iOS 14 and lower. The support for iOS 14 was initially for the check rain and possibly even Uncover in the future. But currently, there is no iOS 14 Uncover. Anyways, they claim in here, quote, we're going to release Substitute 2.0.0 with unprecedented app loading speed for Uncover and check rain. So basically, it was supposed to be an update that worked much faster and better in order to run your tweaks and themes and stuff like that. Unfortunately, when many people tried it, they came to the conclusion that it was actually broken and many of the tweaks stopped working or the whole jailbreak itself stopped working. And I did some testing in the past couple of days and unfortunately, that's right, it is indeed buggy. So you should definitely avoid it for the moment. They're probably going to push an update for Substitute, but at this point, the Substitute 2.0.0 should definitely be avoided because it is indeed broken and it may in indeed break your jailbreak, especially for the uncover. Now many of you were asking me about what's going on with Faza Escaped 14. Well we do have an update from BassVT, they posted back on January 7, quote, I'm sorry for Faza Escaped 14 is taking longer folks, hoping an exploit drops soon. Meanwhile I'm working on another Faza fork, I'm sure it's going to be worth the wait, you'll be able to do awesome stuff with it. So by the looks of it, this is going to take longer because we need an exploit to be released before we can get the Faza Escaped. So, it's unfortunate, but apparently the exploit that BassVT has is not enough. They did say they have a private exploit, unfortunately it seems that that one is not enough. But I also have some good news in today's video, the fact that the Linux has been achieved on an iPhone 7. So this video was posted by Daniel Rodriguez and in this video they basically show an iPhone 7 booting Ubuntu 20.04, of course using CheckRain. So as you can see here, the whole process is being shown and the device does boot in the end the Ubuntu, which is actually pretty interesting. So they do boot in here on Ubuntu and they posted here on Reddit Linux the whole thing about how to do it. You apparently need a couple of things, but the check rain is one of them. Now to make this even more interesting, they seem to have actually booted Ubuntu on an iPhone 7 with a dead NAND. So basically nothing can be written to it and they booted it over the network using the USB Ethernet. So this is actually booting from a different device, from a different storage media. This is actually pretty interesting and it goes to show that the check rain is indeed very powerful and may be usable for many other things in the future other than a jailbreak. We can probably make a Linux distribution for touchscreen devices and of course it can completely replace the iOS on your device, making it completely free and of course without any Apple limitations. This is actually quite interesting. Speaking of Apple, they did release today iOS 12.5.1. I have no idea why they did this, but they did indeed release it. It's available now for the devices supporting iOS 12 as their last operating system, for example the iPhone 6 and so on, and you can still jailbreak iOS 12.5.1 with the Chimera. Coolstar announced the fact that the Chimera works out of the box for the iOS 12.5.1 without requiring any update, even though it says in here that all the devices are supported from iOS 12.0 to 12.1.2. For the rest of the devices, iOS 14.3 is the latest one available right now and is the only one signed. I would definitely advise you not to update to it, but you should definitely save the blobs with the new TSS saver. So yeah, that's basically it, some quick updates, there is no jailbreak for the moment for iOS 14 and there are no important news, but those are some quick news that happened in the past couple of days. So yep, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.